Rob, I hear that you um, are really good and have played a very lot of World of Warcraft. I have played an awful lot of this game, yeah, which would be depressing and sad if I wasn't in the movie. <laughs> but yeah, I, I dedicated about 10 years of my life to this game. Uh, I played it to a very high standard for a very long time. I spent two and a half years harassing Legendary and Gillian Cher, the producer, to get me an audition, basically. I, I would have done anything on this movie. I'd have paid to just come to the set. So to get to be in the movie, and not just that, to get to be Orgrim Doomhammer, it's, it's pretty much a dream come true. So why are you here? To save our people. We must fight together. For orcs, there is no other life but war. But with the human's help, there could be. Your facial features are actually quite recognizable in Duratan. Um, so you look like... Okay, you look like an orc. How, he's handsome, all right. He's like handsome. He is handsome. He's more handsome than I am. He's got that nice little squat nose. He's a good-looking lad. Yeah, I mean that's the thing with motion capture now. It's it's come to that point where they're collecting all of your data. You know, you're very conscious of doing that for the computer. You want to give your best performance. It has to be accurate because the computer will will sell you out. You need a, a good performance to power Duratan, hopefully, and that's. Thanks, bro. How did you um, feel about being like a green, sexy orc? I thought of Corona as a warrior and a survivor, and, and clearly, I mean, you know, they put you in half clothing, barely any clothing. You can, you will see what people feel. But I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't approach it in a way to uh, be sexy. So I hope it catches on. Though. I appreciate that. Though. Thank you. Did you also learn a lot of really good magic tricks? Yeah, I was already a pretty good magician before doing it, and so I brought that to the table. There we go. See? I taught him that. Yeah. Um, yeah. We did. Ben Foster and I um, did a lot of work with Terry Notary, our movement coordinator, who's brilliant. So what's the key to moving like a magician? Floating. You have to float. Floating. You go. Ballet lessons. Uh, Throwing rose petals. Throwing rose petals. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> It comes, it's elemental, you know, so it comes from the earth, it comes from the air, it comes from fire, it you, you know, know one it's thing I, I noticed about it, which was when, you know, like you see in a lot of stuff like Expelliarmus or it's here. Right, it's very kind of, it's in the appendages, whereas yeah. we wanted it to it be was like, a full it's body like, you know, thing for it you takes guys. Some, yeah. We'll protect the kingdom, you and I. We will try, my friend. and family bonds also seems to be an important part of this movie. How does that personally um, affect you all? I don't know, I think I'm a half decent friend. I'm very loyal and we're not friends, so I don't even oh, shake not? your head. Oh, all right, yeah. But, um, yeah. I don't know, you do anything, I'd do anything for my family. Have you got tissue? So, I, don't, I don't believe a word he's saying, first of all. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, fine. <laughs> if you could take one thing from your characters back to your real lives, what would it be? My cape. No, I'm kidding, it wouldn't. <laughs> that cape I can make you a cape sometimes. in five minutes, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I, I just take his strength, because if his I can- His forearms. Like his, for, his uh, I mean, if I could have <laughs> his, that- his bottom teeth. That power, yeah, that <laughs> yeah. teeth, oh yeah. I'd get all the girls. Yeah. <laughs>